Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. Today, my friends, I'm going to be testing the GeForce GT 610 1GB DDR3 in GTA 5. And yes, it's another GTA 5 video, but I haven't tested the 610 in this game yet. And uh, uh, I, I really want to because you guys love to see me suffering. <laughs> So we're running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers available for this card, as this is a Fermi GPU, it runs the 391.35 drivers, not the latest ones, and uh, these are the clock speeds, not very good, there are better versions of the 610, especially with higher uh, memory clocks, but doesn't matter, uh, the lower you go, the better, I guess. At least for those of you that like to see me suffer, uh, <laughs> we're running it with a Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigs of RAM which is completely overkill but I don't care and here we are my friends we are running it at 3840 by 2160 which is 4k resolution and at the moment we're running it with the highest settings except for the MSAA and the aliasing for this one I even enabled post effects and you know what let's do a uh, motion blur set to the maximum because why the heck not oh yes there we go so very high and high over here maxed out maxed out settings as well in the advanced graphics uh, I'm not using this one because it crashes for some reason with these lower end cards. I don't know why. It might be because of the video memory usage because it, it goes... <laughs> Look at that. It goes up to 8 gigabytes. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, no, no, no. It either crashed or it's loading. I... I can't, I can't really say. Okay, it completely stopped. Oh my god, it's actually running, guys. It is actually doing it. Uh, zero FPS. <laughs> this is crazy good. So we actually got around like one FPS with a G100, but that one was running DX10. Yeah, the GT610 can actually support DirectX 11, and it can actually do native 4K resolution in this game, at least using DSR. It doesn't support 4K out of the box. But <laughs> okay. we're literally running GTA 5 with 0 FPS at times. It touches 1 at times, so that's amazing. And I am not seeing any motion blur, which is kind of weird. We bumped that up to the maximum. Uh, I'm trying to move my mouse around, but it, it's not doing anything. <laughs> okay, it started. All right, there's the motion blur. It isn't as pronounced as in other games like Cyberpunk and stuff, so... That's something going for GTA 5 with the motion blur. It gets zero FPS all of the time, basically. And we definitely need to lower those settings here. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm trying to do it now. I pressed ESC like three seconds ago and uh, I'm waiting for the menu to show up. Uh, please. Game. Did it even register? All right, I'm not sure if it registered, so let's click ESC again. Nope. <laughs> I think we have to shut it down, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so now that we know that the 610 is not a 4K card, let's try 1080p in DirectX 10 this time around using the very high settings. We can't really change some of them because we're in DX10 now. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Advanced settings are still turned on. You can't really change this one, by the way. And uh, let's load into it. Yay. Okay, here we go. And we're getting four frames per second. All right, this is not as ridiculous ridiculous as the G100, but it's still completely unplayable, my friends. We're getting like, what, maybe three more FPS, so it's four times faster than the G100. Probably more than that, to be honest. Uh, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> it's still not doable, motion blur. You know what, I'm, I'm actually impressed with the implementation of motion blur in GTA 5. It doesn't look too bad. Like, other games actually become a complete smudginess mess once you turn on motion blur with uh, the low FPS, but not this one. And as you can see, I'm actually able to run around and uh, steal cars and do all of the beautiful GTA 5 things. I'm just joking, it's it's not doable, really. <laughs> e, this is kind of trippy, guys. <laughs> you could kind of take screenshots I, I'm stuttering guys I I can't I can't do this I don't think I can do this uh yeah this is way too bad 
I'm gonna stop it there. Yep, uh, let's do, let's do like 1080p at low. And here we go, everybody. We're getting, uh, okay FPS compared to what we were getting before. This is not as bad, obviously. It's kind of getting the same frames as the GeForce 210 at 800 by 600, which is kind of insane. So the 610 is way better than, okay, we, we managed to not hit that uh, big truck. Uh, but yeah, the, the the 610 is way, way better than the 210. I think the 210 at these exact same settings got like 3 FPS on average. I mean, it would be an upgrade, but I, I just, I can't recommend the 610 to anybody. You shouldn't buy the GT 600 or 700 series GPUs. Ah, all right, it's all good. It's all good. We're gonna see Jack in a moment. Okay, let's do this again. Hopefully that won't happen. I'm, I just started counting the frames and ah, I'm not sure why I'm trying. I could easily go down to 720p and I think that should actually be playable. Okay, everything is fine. <laughs> All right, 16 frames per second. You know, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but this is doable now, okay? <laughs> it isn't too bad. I'd say that this is completely unplayable in other occasions, but uh, after playing with 5 frames per second, this... I, I could deal with it. <laughs> it's really bad, but I could deal with it. No, I can't do this. Yep, this is completely impossible to avoid people at this point. Stop! Just get out of the way, come on! Don't make this harder on me. Oh god. Please get away! You saw the car coming! Why didn't you move? Okay, oh my god. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. We're still alive somehow. Yep, that's how, that's a very good maneuver right there. Great stuff, buddy. And we're almost there. I see two rabbits already. That's John and, uh, the bubbler. Yes. <laughs> but here we go. We got Jack right here, finally. Hello, buddy. How are you doing? Somebody told me to say hola to you, which is uh, hello in Portuguese. So, hola, amigo. Como é que estás? Tudo bem contigo? Gosh. All right, it's all good. It's all good. All right, so here we go, guys. 720p resolution still with the lowest settings. I haven't disabled the shadows in the config files, so it still looks like GTA 5, you know? And you know what? This is kind of doable. I, I'm not gonna repeat the benchmark run this time around. Let's play with Trevor in a little bit. I just want to go to this area because it's the most intensive one. So we can see the worst case scenario. And okay, yeah, not too bad. Guys, I think this is playable. Is it? Is Jack? Jack is here again. <laughs> I didn't even have to reload the game. Uh, let me continue the Portuguese conversation. Como é que é, amigo? O que é que tiveste para o, para o almoço hoje? Oh, nem sei que horas são aqui neste jogo. He actually answered us, though. <laughs> There are five rabbits in the screen right now. How am I supposed to know all of their names? It's it's impossible, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's another great maneuver. They're still alive somehow. What are you doing? What are you... Do you want to, to get shot? Do you? <laughs> uh, yes, diving in front of cars, my favorite sport. Yeah, you know what? Under normal circumstances, I would say that below 30 FPS is just a no-go. You shouldn't play like this, but I, I am actually playing the game. And I, I could enjoy this game with 20 plus FPS if uh, they were consistent. And uh, also if I played for half an hour with uh, uh, three to, or, or zero to uh, 15 FPS. So th this is wonderful. I, I'm capable of driving the car really well here and not crash into many things. <clears throat> okay, so here we are with the most famous bald guy in the history of video games. I, no, that's probably Agent 47, to be honest. But oh, the good thing about me playing with Trevor is 
I got some guns, and I mean, I got some very good guns here with this guy. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So get ready to put this 610 to its knees. And here we go. So, yeah, th this is why I don't do this too much, because it drops the FPS by the same amount as the grassy areas. But, yeah, as you can see... Uh, how the, the explosion was so far how so here we go the x10 800 by 600 everything else is still the same and to be honest i would probably play at 720p uh, with the shadows enabled but if you if you're playing this game online uh, in which you really need a beefy cpu to achieve the same fps as you saw in this video because uh, that mode is way more cpu intensive and it's pretty much as gpu intensive as this so that's why i'm testing here so uh, yeah it will get the same fps in online basically with a 5900x but not with something like an i3 2100 that cpu can actually achieve 40 fps on average here in single player but once you get to multiplayer it's gonna become a mess and that's why people say that online is way more intensive but it's not for the gpu it's only for the cpu so that's why i don't test online uh, anyways this is now a 30 fps experience comfortably you know what to be honest i didn't expect this it's been a while since i last tested the gt610 in gta i did it in that uh, sunday video you know testing a lot of games so i didn't remember what this gpu was capable of and it turns out it can actually play gta 5 while making the game look like gta 5 because with a g210 it did get uh, 30 something fps on average but it did run at 300p resolution with no shadows so it looked kind of worse than gta san andreas but not this one guys the 610 is able to push three thir 30 plus fps three plus yeah three plus at 4k maybe <laughs> hello uh jack and jones no that's not jack what the i just i can't memorize names guys i'm sorry hi jack hi, how are you doing right now i'm not gonna speak in portuguese now but yeah he answered us in english but yeah this gpu wasn't made for gaming okay it, it isn't a gaming card it never was it was supposed to be just a display adapter and you know what for a display adapter to be able to run gta 5 at 30 plus fps or like 27 plus fps whatever that's pretty damn good in my opinion so although this is not strong performance it still surpassed my expectations and i am happy to see this especially after testing the g100 a couple of weeks ago so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you guys enjoyed this one. Oh god damn it all right yeah these are not like cyberpunk people <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next one very soon. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.